Let's see what Steve Art say. Nine. Well, I got my first shipment of Origins and the last few Super 7 He Men. And I thought I'd do sort of an unboxing. Obviously, I've taken them out of the box and I've already pre cut the packaging because I usually cut the bubbles off the packaging. But I'm opening them. Okay. The Man at Arms with an actual mustache. Surprised at the matte finish of the paint on his face. Because of course the toys were made out of the originals were made out of all plastic. And any of the paint I think was gloss. So the matte always strikes me. And the lack of detail is because in filmation they simplified all the designs. But filmation accurate man at arms. And what weapons does he have? Looks like the gun from Ghostbusters. The formation version. And this thing, I don't know what that was he had. And Super 7s don't have a... Oh, it is glued. Damn. When oh, the joint together it's got all that glued on there. Oh no. I think I'll try and take that another time. Basically it's just an art card with a bit of text about the character on the back. But yeah, I found this had happened a few times where they've slipped and they've been joined into the packaging. Damn. I'll have to remove that later. Tila, same, the formation accurate version. And what accessories did she come with? Sword and shield. Same colour as the other one, but the sword, of course, is grey. And Clamp Champ, which I'm very relieved, is the US version with the English comic. The foreign ones are apparently just empty of artwork. There's this clamp thing. Of the comic, yep, that's stuck as well. Damn, okay, let's just get him out. Oh, and he's got little bands. Oh, I forgot that. I forgot I'll let you have those. It's been a while since I've taken one out. He's got a much lighter armor, which is soft rubber. Okay, wow, okay. I didn't know any of them were soft rubber. And he's got a slightly different face, but basically it's clamped down. And he has a spare head. Just smiling. And he has a smaller hand clamp, which doesn't actually move. And of course, this one. Which I have no idea how it works. What? Oh, okay. And he's got some sort of instructions. Oh, removable parts. Okay. So, yeah, the deluxe packaging is bigger. Basically, the exact same. Um, it's bigger. And I can't believe this is jammed in there. Just like another Origins figure. But I've got them out now and I managed to get 
And then an arm's cut out with a minimal amount of damage on the back there. And the same with the mini comic, a little bit of damage there. Which happened to one of the other um, Origins ones that I got as well. Which is disappointing. Um, but yeah, so now we can compare. Clamp champ and clamp champ. The devices are totally different. That one, pull that back. So there's that one. You have to do put them back and then they flip back out. Oh. And man at arms and man at arms. He looks like Man at Arms. He looks like uh, just one of the palace guards, which is what he's kind of going to end up being now. And of course, Teela and Teela. Um, I'm not going to take the snake armor off, but yep. Yeah. Well, I'm happy with the figures. Not so happy with the packaging, but what can you do? And that's the front and the back. And now I wait the rest. Well, feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the Origins and the Super 7 line.